Alright, what's up, y'all? So, here we got that tier list I was talking about. The BDA tier list that I promised you guys. I was see, I, I saw some BDA tier lists, some breathing tier lists, like, on YouTube, right? And they were okay, I guess, but I feel like I have a little bit more, like, you know, knowledge on the topic. I don't, I don't want to sound, like, egotistical or petty or, like, stuck up, but I feel like I know a thing or two since, you know, my entire um channel is about pvp i feel like i know a thing or two about what things are va are viable in the meta this is this is really based off of the meta right now i know that there is a balance change coming tomorrow but they already said what the balance changes are going to be in the change logs so i mean i went over it it doesn't really change i don't think the meta is going to change at all really based off of the balance changes Maybe one or two of these rankings will be different with the new balance changes, but all in all, it's basically going to be the same, really. Alright, so, first, Tamari. As you guys can see, I have a special place for Tamari, below F. Honestly, Tamari, like, right, looking at all of these, I really don't think any of these would be worse than Tamari. Tamari, is, it has combos, yeah, but it's just the fact that it's attacks are absolutely no AOE, no block breakers, no AOE. I, it does have that. It actually, it has two attacks or block breakers, but they're not really that reliable. Um, because you have to aim them, and aiming in this game is not the easiest. So I mean, I feel like I feel like Tamari could be, like, honestly, maybe even maybe B tier, if they would. I mean, I, mean, I was thinking about this. They could do something like um, the explosive choke slam that Blood has, the little AOE circle thing. They could make it a little bit smaller of an AOE circle, and every time you throw a Tamari ball, it'll make like a little explosion on impact. I don't know if that's like a wild idea, but I feel like they, they need to do something to Tamari. I feel like they the fact that I have to make a whole tier for it is saying something. All right, next Blood. Blood. Is one of those things that is getting changed in the in the new in the new balance changes. Is getting a damage nerf, while it's already the lowest damage BDA in the game, and it's still getting a damage nerf on top of that. If you were to if you were to ask me where I would rank Blood before update 1.5, I would say S tier, no no question, hands down. And I, I I mean I don't know if that's biased or not. I don't think that's biased because. I, I, I can I can go on and on about all the things that blood does that make it an S tier, right? And I I use blood. That's pro that's why I was wondering if it was biased or not. But I don't I a completely unbiased. I would probably still put it at S if if you asked me before update one point five. But now I feel like I would have to bring it down to A. Even without the balance changes, I think I would still put it at A. Maybe even B. I I haven't seen enough blood being used yet. To really decide if I would put it A or B. I'm going to put it A for now. Just because of the status that it had before update 1.5. I feel like it would still be kind of used. So I would put it A. The main reason why I'm, I'm bringing it down a tier. Is because of the prevalence of ice right now in the meta. Ice with that counter move. Blood is completely shut down. The ult can't be used. Because when you use the ult on them. And then you have like that little little sparkles on them and you click again to pop it, right? You can't pop the ult because they can the an ice user could just hold down their counter. See that's that that's the thing. The ice ult you could yeah, and the ice counter is probably the most OP attack on ice. It like I don't know. They need to do they need to do something with it. And I'll I'll get to that later. They did nerf it actually. I'll get to that later. But you can hold it down for too long. If you could just hold that thing down when the blood pop is on you, and it completely shuts down the blood ult. And the blood ult is really the main way blood kind of gets through your evades. It kind of manipulates your evades. So, with ice being as meta as it is right now, I would have to put blood at A and not S. Water. I mean, okay, most... I don't... Okay, I don't really fight that many good slayers. The occasional good slayer I do fight is actually running, 
they, they sometimes do run water. Water does a lot of damage, has a lot of range with the Waterfall Basin and the Water Serpent. And they did a rework Waterfall Basin um, in the New Balance Changes where it doesn't do knockback now. And I feel like that actually is a buff to water since um, Waterfall Basin is already a block breaker. So when it breaks their block, they don't get knocked back because of like, the game mechanics. And now, even when you don't break their block with a Waterfall Basin, you, they still won't get knocked back. So it's a free combo. And it's really not that hard to hit. Maybe if you're not that good, maybe you can't hit it. But I'm, th this is in terms of PvP. I think water... Is, I would put it at... I think... Okay. I don't, I don't know. C tier? I guess. Yeah, C tier. It is not so good. I mean, it doesn't... It, it's combo potential is alright at best. It's kind of predictable. That's really the main thing that kind of ruins it. It's really predictable. And again, ice being as prevalent as it is, and and water being as predictable as it as it is, is so easy to counter. So yeah, I can't really put put it higher than C. All right, next, Dream, Dream. I did just fight a Dream player, and I almost lost. So, you know, I mean, it could be a little biased because of that, but um, how where do I put Dream? I think I would have to put Dream at B tier. Only reason being, actually, blood over dream right now. I really don't know. I think I'm gonna have to put dream at A and blood at B, cause dream. The thing with dream is that its stuns are so good. You just can't go wrong with it. Like, it's just so easy to play. I'm not saying people who play dream are no skill or whatever, but it's just so easy to play. Like, um. I was doing this clan war, and I did not touch Dream for at, like probably two months before I did that clan war, and then I just hop on Dream and I did the most damage on the in, in the war. That just that just demonstrates how easy it is to use Dream, and with Ice being in this meta, I think Dream doesn't actually struggle that bad with Ice. Yeah, you could counter their Piercing Flesh, but the fact that dream stuns are so long, it really doesn't give you a chance to counter. Because you're going to be on the floor most of the time stunned. And, um... Yeah, honestly, dream doesn't have the most predictable moves. Because piercing flesh comes out of nowhere. Piercing flesh has no, like... Like, prior indicator that it, they're about to do piercing flesh. Besides the fact that they might double jump. But double jump got nerfed too, because it takes stamina now. So people aren't going to be double jumping that much either. So it's going to be a little hard to... C piercing flesh is coming now. So at that for that reason I have I have to put it at A. Snow. This is something I, I'm really I, I I feel really strongly about. Snow is the best breathing in the game right now. And that is just cause because of its iframes, because of its combo escapers, because of so many things. Cause of that Z move, that Z move is so good. Cause that Z move, you move faster than the opponent. And it stuns them on impact i forgot the the um the name of it it was like frost path or something i don't even is that even the z move i don't even know but whatever that is that thing is that, that thing is so good um shout out to squirrel dog he's one of my favorite youtubers he used snow super well and he's the reason he convinced me that snow was the best um uh what do you call it breathing because it's just it's it it, is, it has such good coverage and everything with all of his attacks. And they buffed Snow because, um, I think, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they buffed Snow. They made it cost less breathing now with the new balance changes. So it just makes Snow even more broken. So I'm I'm going to have to put Snow at B tier on par with the Dream. Maybe even A tier. I, I need to see Snow in action a little bit more to put at A tier. But for now, B tier. Ice. You all guys already know where I'm about to put this. S tier, the the counter is too good. The ceiling for ice, the skill ceiling, the power ceiling, whatever, is too high on ice. If you if people get good at ice, if people get good at reading count and countering, and people get good at learning these combos, ice is scary. They nerf they nerfed ice. They reduced the damage on the alt. They reduced um that was it. They made it so that the, uh, what you call it, the counter, you can't hold it down for as long. 
but here's my here's my thing with that. The counter, most people are not holding it down. Most people are, um, sorry, most people are just countering like the first 0.5 seconds of the counter. Most people are not um, like holding down the counter. So them changing how long you could hold down the counter for really is not nerfing ice. So in reality, the only real nerf that the ice got this balance change was just the alt, but the alt already does so much damage that it really doesn't do much. So I have to put ice at S. It might go down lower if they if they recognize how broken this thing is. But yeah, for now I have to put it at S. Um, okay, what else we got? We got Swamp now. Swamp, I did also fight a Swamp user earlier. And I almost, actually, I know I didn't, I know, I think I was down to like two stocks or whatever. But you know, Swamp, I might have to put it at B tier as well. I think I, I I might be putting too many things in B tier, but I think I have to put Swamp at B tier. Only reason being, the Swamp eject is predictable. It's so predictable. And I can say that from experience now because of that fight that I had with that Swamp player. Every single Swamp eject got countered by Ice. A little bit more reason why Ice is broken, but also because Swamp is predictable. I don't know. Maybe I'm just good at fighting Swamp, but I don't... I always know when they're going to push or when they're going to aggro so i really like i can't really maybe someone could be an un unpredictable swamp user maybe they could get it to work maybe that's a little tip for you guys when you, if you're playing swamp be unpredictable because it's really easy to to counter um all right next one mist mist was the best breathing before update 1.5 and I rarely, but I rarely see it being used besides this one player that I know is good at with it. But that's really the only person I know. But honestly, I might have to. Okay, let me, let me fix these or actually, yeah, let me fix this order. I think Swamp would be at the top here. Snow above blood. And I think Mist above water. Because honestly, Mist just does not have enough combo starters if you wanted to start a combo with mist you have to get close but yeah honestly if you get close you have the ice counter i know i'm i, I know i'm really like bring everything back to the ice counter but honestly everyone uses ice everyone is using ice so if in in the current meta right now if something isn't good against ice it's not going to be good in general with the current meta so honestly yeah and mist, the attacks have too much four swing. It's super easy to escape mist combos. I just think I just can't. I just can't put it high than C. All right, Rengoku. <laughs> this picture is wild. The, all right, Rengoku. Wait, what am I, what am I saying? Rengoku. Flame. Flame. Sorry, the picture is crazy. The okay, flame. People meat ride flame too much. People say, oh, flame is like one of the best breathings it's not it's really not where is flames block breaker the alt okay that's its only combo starter where is flames way of like manipulating evades it's alt okay so now you can't you got to choose what you want to use your alt for it a, a combo was it combo starting or evade manipulating all right other than other than uh the alt where's where's flames block breaker nothing where's flames range nowhere like, where's Flame's damage in its alt? Everything's in the Flame alt. And so if the Flame users are using the alt as a crutch, again, comes back to the ice counter, it's, it's over for, the, for it. So I'm going to have to put it at, at D tier, really. Like, so the picture's still wild. This picture's crazy. All right. Akaza. I had a little scene with Akaza. I don't know if I, I uploaded a video of me using Akaza. I'm not sure. But I, I was using Akaza for a little bit. I think I, I have it on Max Mastery. I was using it for a little bit. And there are some little gimmicks that you could learn to make it so that Akaza combos are actually viable. There's like, yeah, there, 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 there's some gimmicks here and there. But the, the okay, there's a, I forgot the name of the attack. Um, I think Flashing Willow. Flashing Willow, that attack, 
where like you slam, like, you like go up in the sky and then you go back down and slam down and it does like two hits. That attack has so much four swing, is blockable, and it's one of Akaz's only combo starters. And yeah, and then Crown Splitter, it's kind, of, it's its only combo escaper. But the thing with Crown Splitter is that if they're if they're comboing you and they're like close inside you, like if they're like comboing you and they're their character is inside your character, then Crown Splitter doesn't doesn't hit them because Crown Splitter has like a blind spot in the in the middle. So the Crown Splitter is an unreliable combo escaper. And besides Crown Splitter, Akaza has no combo escapers. And then um it's iframes, the little um chaotic type or not chaotic type, what am I saying? What whatever that thing is, that little snowflake thing, it's really hard to use. So I I have to put Akaza at I think better than, I don't know, I think better than water, but I think C tier. Beast. I, w w when Beast came out in update one, I was so disappointed. Beast sucks. It sucks so bad. It has no combo starters besides its ult, and its ult has the most goofy hitboxes ever. Like, its ult, like, I don't know. It just, it's alt never hits. It's alt has like a like a two inch hitbox, and with double jump being so popular, with ice counter being so popular, it, it's alt is completely unusable. So, I mean maybe maybe Beast could do a little bit now that double jump might not be used that much because because of the the stamina usage now, but people could just run a stamina build with a double jump and be fine so i i have to put it even lower than rengoku sound another another one that people meet ride a little too much but not for completely no reason sound it does insane damage i think it does the most damage out of any breathing in the game but and also if if you're fighting someone with a with a poo poo pc the sound kills your frames sound actually kills your frames um so you know, you could you could use that as like a as like a technical thing. Like you could force forcibly make their frames drop, and like use that as an advantage. But you know that's kind of a little like luck based. You gotta hope that your opponent is using a trash PC or tra trash device, whatever. But sound suffers the same problem as Rengoku and Beast. I mean, Flame and Beast, whatever. Um, its only combo starter is its alt. But the thing with sound is that the alt is really good. And also, with sound, it does have other viable options. The, um, I forgot the name of it. The one where you, you grab them and then pull them in and then knock them back or whatever. Whatever that is. You could use that and, like, aggro them, like, push them and dash to them and use that. But again, you know, you gotta be aware of the ice counter. But I think, I think sound... I would have to put it below below water, yeah. Better than these two, but you know, it could it, it, it's a little gimmicky. Like you, you you rely on the ult too much again. Insect. Super underrated. Super super underrated. I know two good insect users, and they're really good. They're really, really good. They amaze me with how good they are at insect. And insect the okay insect has a really high ceiling and insect gave us the first little taste of a counter with mantis kick obviously mantis kick isn't very good uh, ice counter is way better than mantis kick but insect did give us the first little um taste of what a counter could be like obviously the fact that you can only mantis kick and like and counter m1s with it it's kind of kind of sucks but nonetheless it does have a very high ceiling the combos on insect are insane. The breathing usage on insect is so low, and the alt cooldown on insect is so fast. I feel like you could run a speed build with insect and go crazy. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna put it at the top of C tier. I think, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to put it maybe even bottom of B tier actually. Yeah, bottom of B tier. Um. Looking at this right now, I think I might have to put Swamp here too. Swamp is just 
I've been thinking about a swamp actually is pretty good, especially with the now the 250 mastery, and they buffed self replication, the clones. Um, they have a faster cooldown. I think that I might have to put an A tier now. All right, Reaper. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. I really don't know how to feel about Reaper. Reaper has always been super predictable. Reaper used to be the best of the best um, before update one, and then update one dropped. Um, after update one dropped, there were only like two good Reaper players I knew, and now I really don't see anyone using Reaper anymore. But I mean, obviously, everyone's using Ice right now just because it's a new BDA. But I feel like people still won't go back to Reaper that much, even after they're, they get bored of Ice. Just because its alt is its only combo starter, but it doesn't suffer the same thing as Sound, Rengoku, and Beast because of its dash. Its dash, you can easily aggro them and overwhelm them and easily uh, thing. Because, you know, block spammers... Block spammers will be block spammers. They'll just sit still and block spam. You could dash behind them and get those M1s off. If they're not block spamming, then aggro them. You have very quick attacks with um, Blazing Amputation and uh, Quick Tackle. Reaper is good, but it suffers from being too predictable. And I don't know if that's a problem with Reaper or if it's a problem with the players. But it does suffer with being too predictable. When I was using blood before update 1.5, I would always predict it with the landmines, with blood. So, um, I think I might have to put it... Hmm. I was kind of meat riding insect earlier, but I think I might have to put it above insect. Arrow. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm a little unsure about this, but let's move on. Alright, arrow. Uh, Damn. Arrow is a little weird, because... Actually, I think I know why I want to put Arrow. Arrow is a little... Oh, actually, not a little. Way too predictable. Way, way too predictable. There's a lot of gimmick. There, it's, Arrow is a lot, it has a lot of small gimmicks you could learn to make it really good. Um, I never tried the... Try, I've, I've never tried the gimmicks. I never really use Arrow that much. Arrow Soyama... I haven't seen that much used in the update. I, w I did see it used in update, oh, in update 1 drop, but not that much this update. But, honestly, Arrow is completely reliant on its all. Everything else Arrow has are combo, um, what do you call it, combo extenders. No combo starters, besides its alt. And with its alt having such small AoE, and with Ice Counter being here, I have to put it at, I think this might be our first F tier. This is... The arrow kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Arrow is usable. Same way how Tamari is usable. Actually, no. Tamari is unusable. But Arrow has, like, very little usage. Very little usage. Very, very little usage. Kind of struggles with the same... Notice how all these bo these bottom tier ones are struggle with not having combo starters. Combos, combo starting is a little... A little important. Um... Alright. Thunder. Honestly, I don't think I need to say much. I think I, I, I need to put this even lower than Arrow, honestly. Thunder is so predictable. So I think it is the most predictable thing in the game. Probably, yeah, the most predictable thing in the game. On top of it doing absolutely no damage. On top of it having one, one block breaker. On top of it, like, being nerfed. On up after update one, and people are gonna be in the comments like, oh, oh uh, people are gonna be in my, the comments in my DMs like, oh, why'd you why'd you rank th thunder so low? It's so annoying. It's so no skill. Blah blah blah. Bro, just learn how to bro. Just block. Just block. That's really all it is. Even without, I think this would still be F tier even before the ice counter. Just block, bro. It's really not that hard. It's so predictable. I I, I don't think I need to say anything else. All right, wind. Um, Wind probably has, like, one of the best combo potentials in Out of the Breathings. But honestly, its alt has so much four swing. Its alt has a lot of four swing. And ice players, a good ice player could utilize that four swing and counter the alt easily. But 
wind does have a lot of aggro potential. You could aggro them. You could aggro them easily, and just use wind attacks on them. And even if they're blocking, you could still start a combo by just straight aggro. But you know, it's not the most reliable. I think I might put it right. I think yeah. I think right here. All right. I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. I think this is pretty all around solid. Yeah. So this is the final list. Let me know if you guys have any any issue with it. Obviously, I have my own opinion. You guys can have a different opinion, but obviously my opinion's right. I'm playing. But you know, if you, if you guys have something to say about it, just say something. I don't, like, honestly, if you guys don't agree, then you shouldn't have came to the tier list. You came to this video to see what I think. I told you what I think. If you're going to be on my dick about it, then be on my dick about it. I don't, I don't give a fuck. So, yeah, this is the final tier list. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm going to be doing some streaming soon, so be on the lookout for that. I got to... You know, I gotta get into uh, understand how to do the streaming and everything, right? I gotta get into that, so it might take a little bit. Um, I might get into PvP soon. Get back to the PvP videos. Um, but this time with some voiceover, so that'll be interesting. Uh, this video might be a little long, but you know, if you guys watch till the end, that's valid. So um, yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.